went to Ikea the other week and I picked up a few bits for my stall um, and I just thought I would show you what I got. So I got some of these plastic beakers. So they are different colours. I've got a blue, there's a grey, pink, white, yellow and green. And the idea was for these to have um, pens in. So I have my pastel pens here and I was going to put them in the coordinating pots. Um, the only one oops, the only one I haven't got is a purple, so I thought I could either use the white or the grey for the purple ones, but I thought it would be quite nice to have them all colour coordinating in those. Um, the other things I got were these plate racks, which I think I mentioned in um, a previous vlog. I had a couple and I couldn't find them, but I thought these would be good for art prints um, to stand them up in those slots there. So I got a couple of those. And then the last things I got, um, I got two of these, which are actually tablet stands. So they're just this wooden and they stand somehow like that. And then, um, obviously, you stand your tablet in, but my thought was I could stand my cameras in them. So, they did have bigger ones of these, but I just got these size for now, because I've got my A4 planner pads, but I thought they would probably fit on those okay anyway. So, I just got two of those. Um, yeah, because I thought they're a bit more sturdy than the little wooden easels that I got um, that were just blowing down. So, um, the other thing I can use these for are my art prints as well. I might eventually get um, a couple more of these, but I just got two for now. Because, um, of course, I have got the displays that my dad's making, so um, until I get those, I don't really know how my final setup will look. Um, with everything. Welcome to another studio vlog. Um, it is just gone seven o'clock on Monday evening, um, but I just wanted to come on. I've um, done a few things today um, that I've been wanting to do. I've finally finished uploading my new products onto Etsy and redoing all my other listings for the new um, colours and um, yeah, graphics that match my website. Um, if you want to see what I'm talking about, go and watch last week's video where I showed you um, what graphics I put on my Etsy listings. Um, so today I have um, printed off a couple new card designs, four actually, um, and I just wanted to test print them, um, make sure they came out all right and the colours were okay um, and I will probably take these to the market on Saturday um, but I'm not going to print any more off. Um, the cards I think I'm going to do print um, when I get an order through I will print them rather than printing out a load um, right like before they've sold. 
So I've done one of these um, as a thank you card and then I've done the same design as a happy birthday. So this is in the um, Floral Tea Time um, collection. Um, these are all on my website now. I've already um, added these on. And then we've got a happy birthday one in this, which is the Floral Cutouts collection. And then I've also done a thank you in that one as well. So I'm really pleased with those. They've come out really well. Um, I ordered some more of the cards that I've been um, printing these and the art prints on so I've got um, a good stock of card there. The other thing I did I'm really excited about, I put a story on Instagram um, showing these so you might have already seen them but I had another go at the bags. So um, in the vlog where I did my bags, um, I think it was a couple of vlogs ago, Fun Crafting commented saying why didn't I try putting a heat mat in between um, the bag so that it was more solid because I was using a mat that was like a cushion um, and it was making it crease and it you know had creases in the um, transfer and it didn't look very good. Um, on top of that I couldn't get the um, timing right so I didn't know how long to leave it on each section um, I was leaving it on not long enough then I was leaving it on for too long so I knew that I was going to have to have a little bit of a play around if I wanted to try it again so with the comment I thought well why do I need to use the mat the pad um, why can't I just use the ironing board because obviously that's heat proof because you iron on it um, so I thought today I would have a go and I am delighted to say it worked. So I have printed out and then transferred. This is perfect, like it's really smooth. There aren't any creases, it's um, all over. Like there's no patches that are coming away. It's all perfect. So I've done five of the designs, maybe you can see that, there we go. <laughs> so that's that one, and then this one is probably the only one that was a bit, I think there is a bit of a crease and then the middle is slightly um, mottled, should I say, you can sort of see the colour of the bag through it a bit more than on the others. And I think that comes from leaving the um, heat on it for too long. So it still looks fine, I mean I'd use it, but I might sell these as seconds because um, obviously they're not, they are sort of my testers, but I, I still think they are good enough, like they are good enough quality. I mean, apart from that one, it's rain started. They are all perfect. Like this was the first one I did um, with the new, sort of just doing it on the ironing board and it just came out so nicely. I was very excited to try the rest. And then the last one is this one. And yeah, I'm just really pleased with them. I did also do a little Cornflower Lane um, like on the same paper for the transfer to go on the inside just so I could have like my logo um, on the inside and I stupidly I printed in them off um, with these so on the A4 paper and I stupidly forgot to flip them so obviously you have to flip it to have the writing go the right way and I forgot so all the logos that I did um, were the wrong way round so had to throw that way. I will be getting some more of the paper but I also want to get some more bags. I ordered some um, the other day because I knew that I wanted to have another go and I'd nearly run out of the original bags that I bought but I'm not as happy with the quality like the I got I just got them off Amazon because um, I just wanted them quickly and the reviews were really good and saying that they were better quality than any that they've bought before but they're actually worse quality than the ones that I got 
um, the first batch that I got and I wasn't happy with the quality of those so these ones are even worse. Um, they've actually shrunk in the wash as well so they're too small really like I wanted a bigger size. So I'm going to do a bit of research for bags and see if I can get some better quality in the size that I want. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited because that means I can bring bags to my shop, which I've been wanting to do. Um, and I'm really happy with the patterns that I've got on them as well. I might take these to the um, market on Saturday um, and potentially sell them there if they um, have any interest. But yeah, keep an eye out because bags will be coming to my shop. So I will talk to you again tomorrow. Um, this week is sort of a bit all over the place. I think coming to the end of term, I know there's quite a few things um, to do with the school. So I'm going to be sort of in and out throughout the week, I think. Um, but Wednesday, I have a hair appointment. Um, I have my friend does my hair who lives in Derby. So I go over there for the whole day and I have my hair done and I visit my parents. Um, and then Thursday afternoon is my youngest sports day, so I'm going to be out um, Thursday afternoon. Um, but yeah, I will speak to you tomorrow and let you know what I am doing then. <laughs>
Um, obviously by the time you're watching this um, it will be too late for you to get that code but if you do want to join my email list I will leave a link in the description below. So I'm going to go now and I will speak to you again on Thursday. Setting up my um, table for the market tomorrow. I was going to set that all up um, and I've started it and I was just going to finish it off today. Well actually I was going to finish it off yesterday morning. Um, but my dad has said that he will have the wooden display stands finished and he's bringing them over tomorrow morning. So the morning of the fair. Um, so I'm not going to have time to um, set them up as a practice run. So it's making me a bit anxious because um, I've never used a display stand before and I'm not 100% sure what I'm putting on them. But I think I'm just going to have to um, play it by ear and just do the best I can. Tomorrow I have got quite a long um, time to set up so I've got to be there at 11 because they've given us slots for when we can take the car and unpack it and then go and park because there's not, um, obviously we can't park anywhere near where our stall is so they've done it like that. An hour slots at 11 o'clock but the market doesn't open till 2 so we have got quite a lot of time to set up. Um, I've only, I think I've only had about an hour before and I've managed that so I'm thinking with the extra time I'll be able to sort of play around a bit with the displays and get it how I want it ish. Um, but yeah so the practice table has kind of gone out the window but I do need to get together all um, that I'm taking so I'm still going to kind of lay it out a bit um, just so that I'm taking the right things. <laughs> So I'm going to end this week's video here, thank you so much for watching. Um, next week I really hope the video is going to be slightly better and have a bit more content. I know um, last week obviously I did my Etsy video and then this week again I've hardly been in the studio and I've been doing a lot of computer work, uploading all my new products. Um, so yeah, I haven't had much to film but hopefully Going forward the next few weeks I'm in the studio um, nearly every day and I will be able to film a lot more. Um, join me next week, I will be letting you know how the market goes tomorrow. I'm really excited but also slightly anxious because um, the last one I did was so bad. I'm, I've just got it in my head that I'm just not going to do very well so I really hope this one goes a lot better but I will let you know next week. Um, yeah, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you aren't already and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Bye!